Hello everyone and welcome to another MVCC Libraries Tech Tip. This time we're talking about permalinks. We will discuss what permalinks are, why they're useful, and how to find them in the most commonly used of the library's databases. A permalink, or permanent link, is a shorter, stable link to a file or web page on the internet. Saving permalinks to interesting articles in one centralized spot can help you stay organized when conducting a research project. Often on the internet and in library databases, the link in your browser's address bar is only temporary. If you copied that link to use later, it might only take you to an error page or a strange login screen. The links in the browser address bar are also usually extremely long and unwieldy. It's easy to accidentally leave out pieces when copy-pasting. Permalinks are usually much shorter and easier to work with, and they will always take you back to that page or article. Here we can see an example of the difference between a permalink and the link in the address bar to the same resource. The permalink, while still kind of long, is much shorter and easier to work with. Now let's look at how to get permalinks in the library's most frequently used databases. In Primo, the library's main search box, you can get a permalink from an items details page. Look for the send to section immediately below the title and author information. Select permalink, then click the green copy the permalink to keyboard button to copy the link. You can then paste this link in an email, Word document, or wherever you wish. Note that this permalink is to the details page in Primo rather than to the full text of this item itself. Next, let's look at EBSCO databases. EBSCO databases all look similar, though they each focus on different academic subjects. You have a couple of options depending on what it is you wish to link to. If you wish to link to the results of a particularly good search that you did, you can find a permalink to a search results page under the share button in the top right corner. If you need a permalink to a specific article, that option appears next to an icon of chain links in the right hand menu. Click that, then highlight and copy the text in the box that appears at the top of the article. Remember that you can copy text either through the keyboard command Control C or by right clicking on the highlighted text with your mouse and selecting copy. The keyboard command Control V will paste the copy text wherever the cursor is. You can also right click the mouse and select paste. Our third major database vendor is Gale. Their databases all work similarly to each other as well. No matter where you are in a Gale database, a Get Link option always appears in the header menu in the top right. Click on that, click the blue Select button, and then Copy, again, either with the keyboard shortcut or with a right click of the mouse. This has been a really brief introduction to using permalinks in your research. If you need help, ask a librarian. We hope you found this tech tip helpful. For more tech tips and research help, check out the library's YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, or follow us on Instagram. Happy researching!